Hello, this video is made for the Ubuntu Help Guide channel. You may upload it to your channel. What I'm showing you is a video I made already for the Germans. Now you can upload this for the English audience. I found a cool trick to get something like a virtual machine, but better. You don't have to have a virtual machine. It's already everything in the Ubuntu Software Center. First, you have to install QTNX. QTNX. After you installed QTNX, you are closing the software center and you are opening it again. Now, when you search for an application, you are able to test this in a virtual machine on a real server, not on a virtual machine on your local PC but on a server. We may search for terminal. Terminal. Some terminal. It don't care if you already have installed the terminal, but you have another button here. The test button. And you click on the test button. Here is a German environment. Your button maybe looks different. Now you can choose which software should run on the server, Edubuntu or Ubuntu. I'm choosing Ubuntu. Ubuntu. Okay, now we wait a little moment till the connection is connected. After the connection is established, you are choosing your language, pressing OK. Now you have a terminal. You type in GNOME minus panel. GNOME minus panel. Enter. And now you have a complete Ubuntu system under your control. Change the workspace to another workspace. And don't close the terminal, because when you closing the terminal, the session will be closed. Now you have a complete desktop you can using. And the fine thing is, you have the possibility to serve with an other IP address. It's not my real IP address. I test it. My IP dot IS. And this is not my real IP address. You can surf safely in a sandbox. It's a s internet connection from the server, not from your PC. You can use this whole system, but be careful. Others maybe see your name. I changed my name to a false name and I show you how I do it. Because in the system settings you are able to see the other users and groups. Here the other users and groups and their identity ID. And we don't want to have this. Because the identity ID is used to log in and as a password. So I close this. I change on my real PC my identity. I found a way to patch this connection to a name I want to have. Type in this sudo nano user share software mine center software center backend weblife.pu enter enter your password now you are editing a file and in this file you see how the connection name is and here's my patch. In the connection 
I patch the full name to another string I li like to have. And I like to have another identifier, maybe NetiNower. And the identifier is used as a password, as you can see here. Password. Password is the same as the identifier. So, don't type in passwords in the virtual desktop when you are surfing, because another one who uses this identifier, this name, may connect as the same way as you did. Change it every time you use this virtual thing, because the others can see your name and identifier. Maybe you want to uh, clear the cache of the web browser after you are surfing. So, I hope this was useful for you and greetings to Ubuntu Help Guy. Use this on your channel if you like and goodbye.